Okay, so one of the big comments that I get into my office as a member of parliament or a lot of the comments that I'll get here on uh, social media relates to the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. And I get a lot of people who will write me and text me and be like, oh man, the CBC, oh, we gotta defund them. And this was especially true this week, um, in this last week, where the current president or CEO of the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation picked a bit of a fight with the Conservative Party of Canada leader, Pierre Polyev. So today I wrote an article about how I think the CBC is actually defunding itself. Um, and before I break that down for you, I have put the link to that article in the video description here. We know that Justin Trudeau is passing bills like C-11 to try to shape or let the government shape what you see on the internet and what you don't. So if you could just click the link in this video feed to the article, read it, share it, but most importantly, subscribe to my feed there. If you subscribe to my newsletter, I can contact you directly. I don't have to deal with the algorithm and you don't have to worry about whether or not a social media platform is going to let you see what I as a member of parliament who is not a liberal member of parliament is writing about. So just take a minute, click on the link, please subscribe. It helps me more than you know, and it's free. Okay, so the CBC is defunding itself. So in the article, again, the link's in the video description and I'll put it in the comments as well too, click subscribe. This, a few weeks ago, the CBC floated a proposal to shift all of its broadcasting entirely to digital streaming. So they floated the idea that they wanted to do away with traditional broadcasting. Now, I found this hilarious because if you remember back in November, remember when Liberal Finance Minister Christia Freeland got into a bunch of trouble for saying that the best, well, one of the ways of dealing with inflation was to cancel your Disney Plus subscription? Well, in that statement, she inadvertently gave the argument as to why CBC is like looking at digital streaming as opposed to broadcasting probably isn't the best approach because if Liberal Finance Minister Christia Freeland thinks that Disney Plus, which it, with its large library of beloved content is a excessive expense, then how is the CBC supposed to compete in that environment and the, and the answer is that it can't and so you know the, the question is how did the cbc get to this point where it's neither competitive in terms of creating content that's relevant to a broad swath of canadians as a broadcasting entity in general and also there's a lot of canadians who just question its relevancy in general how did it get to this point and it's the executive's fault and it's also the liberal government's fault for continuing to fund the organization and the executives that have made a series of, I think, really bad decisions without any sort of penalty for that or any sort of strings attached saying, you guys need to make yourself relevant to Canadians, right? So again, the link is in the video feed. I have broken down for you all the things that I think the CBC has arguably done wrong in the last uh, several years um, and how the government, the liberal government, by continuing to like just increase its funding without having any accountability to these poor decisions made by its executive team has really, I think, ruined the broadcaster's future in and of itself. So when a lot of people are talking about, oh, defund the CBC, I think the, def the CBC is defunding itself. There's a lot of Canadians who are just like, I don't like, I didn't grow up with you. I don't know how you're relevant to me. Um, so again, please click on the link in the video description, share this video and click subscribe so that I can, you know, share these, these types of thoughts with you in a way that is not getting um, uptake from the algorithm um, or hidden by the algorithm. Somebody I talked to today um, made a, another really good point about the CBC defunding itself. Um, if you were going to make an argument for a national broadcaster, we are a big, diverse country, right? There's a lot of different geographic areas. And a lot of times Canadians, you know, we don't have the means to travel to other parts of the country and get to know each other or get to know the issues that are facing different regions, which are very different. Um, so you would think that a broadcaster would, you know, put a lot of emphasis, a public broadcaster in Canada would put a lot of emphasis on regional content, like contact from, let's say, Atlantic Canada or Western Canada 
Well, we know for a fact that a lot of the CBC funding, it doesn't go to creating content in those areas of the country. It just doesn't. And I think that that is another reason why the CBC is defunding itself. There's a lot of parts of the country where people are just like, I hate in the CBC. So I just, I, for, for all of you who have been writing to me and you know the, the complaint about the CBC, and it's not just conservative partisans who write in my office. There's a lot of people who might not necessarily vote one way or the other, but are concerned about the broadcaster. I have broken down for you how I think that the broadcaster's executive team, its board of directors, and the liberal government are actually its own worst enemy and that they're defunding themselves. So click the link in the video description. Please hit subscribe. Um, I will put the link in the um, comment feed and also please share this video. I'm trying to give you more of a perspective of some of the things that I see going on in Ottawa and across the country in my work as a member of parliament and also respond to your questions, particularly those who are my constituents. Working hard for you, click subscribe and share this video. Have a great day.